Hello everyone, this is Cinema and this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at every game in the collection yes, or we're starting oh today. yeah, yeah, we're not yeah. doing all of them because that would be like the, the longest, most horrible video to watch in the history of YouTube we have a lot of games it wouldn't be worse than we're taking the hobbits to highs and guards for 10 <laughs> hours but it would be up there with some of the worst <laughs> videos ever for YouTube yeah but we are starting so this is going to be a video series that was unlocked by our Patreon backers. That's cool. The supporters that we are really, really thankful that you are supporting us. If you want to support us to be, make us be able to make more cool stuff, different cool things. Thanks. Videos about board games, basically. You can go check out our Patreon and if you're new here also, please subscribe to this channel. Because it makes us happy, it makes us smile. We don't usually smile in Norway, but every time we get a subscriber we smile. And everybody around is like, what are those people? They must be crazy. They must have a YouTube channel or something. Yes. <laughs> so that is how it is for us when we get a subscriber. So today we are actually taking a look at our Shelf of Shame. Yes, we are. We have a lot. Uh, I, at least, have a lot of these games that I haven't played, mm -hmm. actually. There are some of them I've played, some of them we both played. So this is basically like the Shelf of Shame and also games that we haven't played enough. Yeah. We only played once and are not decided if it should be in the collection or not yet. Yeah. That is basically that. Mm. So this is going to be a video series in about... Uh, it's going to be X amount of videos. We don't know how many it's going to be. Yes. Uh, we do have quite a few games. We have around 650 games. That's too much. Oh, we just sold like 100. So, yes, uh, it's still too much. So, so thankfully... We don't have we, enough space. Thankfully, we do sell games. Yes. We are going to get some more shelves probably right behind us here because that's a Look at all the space! Wall. There's no games What there. is this wall? Yeah, we don't usually do We have do to get walls. rid of it. We do shelves of games. Yes. So we also want to try to show you like a little bit of where all the games are with pictures and some videos and stuff because we have the games in different spaces in the apartment. Yes. Because we don't really have like a game room. We, we, we play on our, our gaming table which is also our dining table. Yeah. So... Um, we have a lot of games in our living room, in our, uh, I don't know, a um, room of mess. It's the messy room. It's the messy room. We, we need to, to clean it up a bit before showing it to you. So that's a great intensive for actually doing that. Yes. Let's go. Hey, so should we start? Yes. Okay, so what game do we have first? Glenmore 2 Chronicles. Yeah. We have played this, uh, yeah, quite some times now. Yeah, we enjoy basically it. Basically, the reason it's there is that it it's it's big. It should be on like the the big shelf in the living room, which you will see later, which is kind of like our favorite games uh, shelf. Uh, but there's no room in there, so we need to find some way to have it there, or else it will be stuffed downstairs with the games we don't remember that exists. Yeah, and this game is huge, so it takes it up a lot of space. So it's not like, yeah, just don't put it here and. Mm -hmm. So now it's on top of the shelf. Yeah, but this is one. Well, it was just on, on the top fifty games, so it's one of my favorite games. Yeah. So it, next this up, is kind of misplacement on the on the shelf of shame. Yeah, but it's just there because it's space. Yes. So yeah, next up we have Era of Tribes. Not played it. No, it's a review copy, and it's it's a big game. That's why it's not with the other review copies in the review copy shelf. Uh, yeah, we do have shelves for different things. Uh, so Era of Tribes is a game that I have been wanting to play it looks really nice i i need to get through the rules like it's a heavy euro the civilization kind of emeritus euro game put together so i'm looking forward to play it hmm. i know nothing about it other than what he it's just a said game yeah so yes. it might not be your like your favorite style but you're i'm probably looking gonna forward win. to trying it yes so uh next up we have clank legacy acquisitions incorporated we acquisitions. really love this game and yes. we're playing it right now and it's just there for easy access and yeah. the box is big until we're finished with it then we're gonna put it somewhere else because yeah, we, we cannot sell it no but it's regular clank after we're finished so probably mm -hmm. never gonna play it again <laughs> no no we, we just sold clank as well so. yes next up we have roads and boats which is uh a big, huge box of prototype components that costs this is stupidly fifty dollars to buy. Stupidly size on the oh, box. Yeah, but it is it is that size because of the plastic sheet that you get, which most I see people why. throw away because it, it's, it's just not stupid. functional. Uh, but yeah, Roads and Boats is a heavy explorer game. We have played it once. I have played it twice. You played it once. So um, did you like it? Yeah. I like it. Like in in five seconds, you like it. I like it. Okay, that's the five second review, or actually like one second review. That's the new board game channel that we're gonna do five second reviews. If you I want learned, to see that, let us know in the comments. I learned like, like unnecessary conflict is stupid, uh -huh. uh, so I'm trying to do not do that next time. 
So, Rolls and Boats, a game you don't play for looks, but a game you play because it's fun. Yeah, and I won. I'm super happy. Yay! You, you usually win games. Yes. Hehe. <laughs> Next game is Meso. Meso? Mm -hmm. Meso, I think, yeah. yeah. I haven't played We haven't played it. No, we it. haven't played it. It's a real re majority game. I picked it up in Essen kind of on a whim. Heard it was good. I heard Edward from uh, Heavy Cardboard enjoyed it, even though like it's an, a real majority game which he doesn't usually like. So, I picked it up. Haven't played it yet. That's Meso. Yeah. Next shelf is starting off with Kingdom of Midag. This is basically a game I bought because Midag is dinner in Norwegian. Don't yeah, know that's anything. the reason. And that's Haven't the Haven't played it. Nope. <laughs> Probably <laughs> will play it sometime, maybe. Yeah. City of Big Shoulders, of the, on the, of the Big Shoulders. <laughs> this is like uh, 18xx meets dry Euro stuff, kinda. So, so much good stuff in here. Yeah, I need to play it again, yeah. although it's not my favorite genre. I feel like I like this more than just plain 18xx. Looking forward to play it again. Key Market is one of the key series that we haven't played. Uh, and it is here, we have other key series we haven't played, but it's here because they come from Kickstarter. Haven't gotten to play it yet. Really want to play it because most of the key games are good. Yeah. Uh, Loot Island? I don't know anything about this. Not me either, really. It's a What's Your Game uh, game, so oh. that's why I bought it. It's like one of their like, small release for a couple of years ago. It just looked like tiny, easy to get to the table game. Yeah, don't know much about it. It's there. Yeah. Uh, the Quest for Eldorado, we mm -hmm. picked this up recently at a friend's house. He was yeah. selling it and I played it once a little while ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I just... Uh, I'm looking forward to play it again. We have a nephew who's uh, seven years old. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he's going to enjoy it when he's getting a little older, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I think probably we're going to need to play like some, some even easier deck building game first. And yes. then because it's a deck building and movement and all that. so. But I, it was really fun. It was. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it enough to, to pick it up for a really cheap for my friend. Then. Yeah. And then he didn't have to have it. Yeah. So he was win, lucky. Win, win. And we were happy. And everybody was yay. Yay. Next up we have Dadao Cheng, the second edition. This was a game that Suno I heard about in essence. He was like... This one guy on Instagram says this is the best game ever made. We have to own it. And I was like, okay, I will order it from, from, from the publisher. And I did, together with a lot of other games you'll see on this shelf. We have played it once and it was really fun. Yeah, it was. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Candy Crush in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's it was actually tree. really yeah, nice. It's, it's, it's yeah. actually really cool. I want to play it again. Uh, next, I don't see the... It's a board game cafe? Yeah, it's like the best board game cafe ever, I think it's cool. Yeah, uh, I have not played this, I think. I read the rules. I think it looks really nice. It's like kind of a dice drafting... No, dice drafting. It's a drafting game. Uh, like, it's kind of a two, two-part game where you first you kind of build up your shop and then you try to open up the shop best way possible. Huh, okay, cool. It's a cool theme. Really niche, but really nice. Hmm, nice. Gloomhaven! It's called Forgotten Circles, the expansion to Gloomhaven. The Forgotten Expansion, we the could call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to play it, but it's a prequel to the, to the actual story. Oh, so we I, have to I play, play that. We have to finish the story. Probably we're going to get Frosthaven before we finish Gloomhaven, and hopefully it's better, so I'll probably we're going to play that. Uh, 1862. This is one of the dreaded 18xx games. 18xx yeah, yeah. games. I haven't played this. I haven't either. I, I played 1824, which was just moved from here, but uh, 1862 looks really nice and different, so I'll look forward to play it. Yeah, cool. Tempus, Martin Wallace. Don't know a lot about it. Picked it up from a friend because it was cheap. The same friend. Martin Wallace, and that's basically what I have to say about that. Yeah, don't have anything more to add to that. <laughs> Next up is Fields of Arl. This is a UV Rosenberg game. It's a two-player game. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we have been wanting to get it for a while. But it's, it's pretty expensive for being just a two-player game. Mm. Uh, but I got it like 25% off from the, the online game store. So I picked it up and we haven't gotten to play it yet. But it's uh, we really want so to do it. much good stuff about it. Uh, because we love Ever Rosenberg, so I don't think... I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it a lot. Yeah, I think so too. We just need to find time. We, we, we almost played it a couple of times, but if we had other game that we needed to play. Yes. Next up we have Masters of Renaissance, which is kind of like the, the card game version of Lorenzo e Magnifico. We played it like two times, I think. Need to play it a couple more times before I decide if I need to keep it or not. I think it's a little bit light, like a bit too light, but it's a fun little game. It has this night gimmick with the, the, the marbles, which I really enjoy. Yeah, I, I think it was okay, but mm. yeah. Mm. Nothing amazing. It's no. like a, a racing engine building game. I think. Yes. Yeah, uh, Arcane Academy. Mm -hmm. I haven't played it. No, it's an Eric Lang game. We bought it from the same friend. 
We bought the other games just maybe like a year ago. I, I, I like that we're just moving the games of shame like <laughs> to our shelf of shame. But he has played these games and so yeah, like, he, has. he had fun with them. But he, it's like we sell a lot of games that we like. Yeah, and, that's and, true. And he does like push games on us and I don't think we will like. No, game pushers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so next up is Mr. Jack, which we almost played. At GotCon in Gothenburg for like uh, three oh, did years we? ago. Yeah, we did. Everybody else went to sleep and I really wanted to play something else. And you were like, yeah, because I love you, we will play something. I really want to sleep and I don't want to play any more board games. Oh, I remember and this. And I read the rules and I set it up and they were like, you know what, I'm just too tired. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and I haven't got to play it. So I found a really cheap copy. I've heard it's a nice little two-player game. So I want to play it, Mr. Jack. Undaunted Normandy. Normandy. This is a two-player game. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think I would like this one, but we played like two missions. Two, two missions, yeah. And I won, so I'm happy about that. I'm willing to play it again. Yeah, it is really cool. I I, I would like to play it. I mean, there's more of them coming out, and I would be interested to check it out. Yes. Uh, but there's a lot of nice stuff here. It I, felt different. Uh, yeah, it felt like it was a war, war game, but but it didn't feel like a war game. It felt mm. like a short two-player experience with kind of deck building element which I really enjoyed. Yeah. Electropolis is another one of those games I bought together with Kingdom of Midang. Uh, I've heard it's a really nice kind of city building game, kind of like a Quadropolis-ish game. Mm. If it's anything like Quadropolis we probably will like it, so yeah. looking forward to play that sometime. Uh, overbooked, we played this once. Mm. You're trying to f f book your Plane. Fill up your plane, yeah. yeah, in the best way possible. Yes, um, it was a neat puzzle. I liked I, it a I, lot. I, I thought it was cool. Uh huh. I think it should be moved to the collection. Yeah, you think but so? But I would like to play it again. Yeah. Imhotep the Duel. Haven't played two players of Imhotep. Don't know a lot about it. It's Imhotep. I want to play it. Imhotep is good. Yeah. So I reckon this is good too. Yes. Uh, Odd will. Odd will. Odd yes. Will. Uh, we picked this up uh, at our first year in Essen. In 2017, yeah. Uh, so it Three. needs to get played soon. I did read the rules a couple of times, but haven't got to the table. It just didn't happen, basically. Yeah. Is it what's your game game? Yes. What's your game game? Yeah. What's your game what's game? What's your game game? <laughs> Next up is Copenhagen Roll and Write. I played this a couple of times. Uh, but don't really know why it's on this shelf. It's a nice little game. But we need to keep special. this? Yeah, I don't know. We'll play it a couple of I'll times. I'll probably then... not keep... I'll probably just forget that it exists. I don't need yeah, this. Yeah, no, it's true. I would it's like so to play it again. so many Roll and Ride games. I'd like to know? play it again. I like Tetris. Mystery House. I was really curious about this game. I was pumped. Uh, I'm not that curious anymore. It doesn't work. Uh, no, it was boring. Um, yeah. We, we probably should play the other scenario, but it, it, it worked as a... I thought it was a neat concept, but it didn't work as a game so the only reason that it's still here is basically because i would like to play the other one before we sell it off really you said to me that you didn't want to play it yeah ever then, we, again. then we should have sold it a long time ago so it's there because i still like have it in the back of my mind to be if we don't have any other escape room games and i'm like oh i want to play an escape room game then we have this yeah <laughs> so <laughs> sands of time is a, a spielworks game i don't know a lot about it got it super cheap from that same friend uh, he's still in a shrink, he didn't have time to play it, maybe we should invite him over and play it. Mm. I've heard mixed things about it, so maybe we'll never play it, but no, I have it. And I, I might be able to play it if I get the chance to play it sometime. We have the possibility to, to play it. To be able to play it sometime. Yes. Sense of time. Uh, Era Medieval Age, uh, we played this once. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a cool uh, puzzle with the building, the buildings. Mm -hmm. The buildings are really cool. Yeah, um, it's but a glorified Roll and Write. Yeah, uh, I, it didn't engage me that much though, so... Mm. I want to play it again. It, it is a super expensive glorified Roll and Write game, but it looks beautiful and I enjoyed the gameplay that we had. Yeah. I would like to play it again. Mm. Grim Masquerade is a kind of deduction game that I, I need to give it another shot. I need to give it another chance. Uh, I didn't really fall in love with it at the time we played it, mm. but it is there still, so it is on the shelf because I am interested to, to give it another chance. Yes, um, um, uh, we talked to uh, what it was his name again. I don't Wins. Yes, a Lucky Duck. from Lucky Duck. Yeah, we talked to Wins at Lucky mm -hmm. Duck Games, and he said something really true. I think for yeah. this game, and uh, this could be really enjoyable, like social del deduction game that you mm -hmm. don't have to lie in. Yes. So I really, if you it should be for you basically because you hate yeah, lying. Yeah, it, it's some luck involved, but it mm -hmm. was nice, and yeah. uh, if you. Th 
don't like uh, social deduction mm -hmm. but want to play it more, I think you should check this one out. Yes. So that's a really small percentage of pitch like if you hate this category but you really want to play it more. Yeah, but I can see the, <laughs> the target group that yeah, yeah, absolutely. this and game cover gives. Most what people this have said this is like really, really good. So I need to play it again, but it might not just be for us and that's okay. Another Fields game. This is Fields of Green. I don't know anything about it. Doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with the other one, but uh, yeah, this is kind of, um, this is from Atipia Games. It is, uh, was on Kickstarter many years ago. This is one of the games that we have had and played for the longest. Mm -hmm. When we got it, we read the rules, we set it up and played like a couple of turns and something. Did we? Came in a way, yeah. I we, don't remember anything of this. We played like a little bit. This is bit. once in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is, have you played Among the Stars? Yeah, but, uh, I don't know if you play. I played a couple of times. My it's, memory is horrible. It is a, a, a kind of a drafting game, but you you also p place you you build kind of a, um, a, a a space station in in among the stars. Here you build like your farm. Oh. Uh, you get resources and stuff to to, to do different actions, and uh, it, it's still a game that I would like to play. I've heard it's good, so it is on the shelf for that reason. Yeah. And then we have Dominations. We played this once. This was a like, huge Kickstarter. We played this once, wasn't blown away. I've heard Tom really likes it. Um, it was uh, okay. Yeah, it just was too long and too complicated for what it is. Well, like, I had a lot of AP issues mm. uh, because it's like a tech tree that you need to know and you need to understand the tech tree to be able to enjoy the game. And I, but I would like to play it again, maybe play it with a couple more players and just like decide to, to play it. Quicker than uh, 80 to 120 minutes, we spent yeah. a lot more than that. I thought it was uh, cool, mm. but nothing like, wow, it has I... It new concept. Yeah, I think uh, we should give it another chance. Yeah. Uh, architect, we picked this up at another friend's house. Yeah, like basically... We have so ago. many friends that sell games. Uh, <laughs> this is a cool party game mm -hmm. where you hit people in the head if they're not building what you're trying them to get them to build. Yeah, by saying ooga booga, boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. So like, why aren't you listening <clears throat> to me? You should be listening to, to every word I'm saying. Yes. This is a stupid party game that uh, you were really happy that you could hold, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then we have Cartago. This is another Euro style game which I've heard really great things about, just haven't had the time to play it. Nothing else to add. Nope. Uh, Sherlock. Yeah, this is kind of like a, one of the series of games, like this small kind of escape room-ish games. Yeah, so just... we need to play it because we enjoy this types mm -hmm. of games. We got it for free with an order from an online store, so don't know much about it, heard it's good. Yeah. Then we have Majolica Paint, which is unplayable because of the rules. There has been some really big issues with the rulebook for this in English. Uh, they have added some things. I, this was just off the rest, so hopefully they have added something now. I just haven't had the time to go back and look at it. Looked really nice, it just didn't make any sense in the rules, so it's just been sitting Have there. we played it? No. No, of course not, because it's unplayable. Okay, okay. So then we haven't played it. Uh, the Fox <laughs> in the Forest duet. Uh, we saw demo this uh, in Essen. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked good, we enjoy Fox in the Forest, so yeah. um, bought this it. looks like a nice little kind of a, a, a co-op game that I might enjoy, because it's just a little puzzle for us to just sit and play in half an hour if yeah. we want to do something like that. That sounds good. Next up we have the Culture Collection from John Claudus. Uh, this is Keep, Neolithic, uh, Neolithic and Merchants of Mosiris. You haven't played any of this? Nope. I have played Merchants of Mosiris, which was really nice. Uh, it used to be a two-player game, now it's a four-player or two to four-player games. I played it two players, it was really cool. Hmm. A lot of great, like it's a super, feels kind of like a Jaipur. Yeah. But with some more special abilities and a more stuff going oh. on. It's always really like to play that again. Yeah, it was yeah. really nice. Uh, I heard that might be the best one. But uh, we got all of them from Kickstarter, so I would like to play them also. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, next up is Foothills. Foot this Hills. is like a two-player version, kind of, mm -hmm. of Snowdonia. Yes. Uh, I haven't played this, but you have. I think it might be better than Snowdonia. Oh. Like, it's, it's really different. Why haven't but I I'm, played this? Oh, uh, because time. Games. Other games. Yes. Making YouTube videos, that's oh, something we do. We're doing, this is... Right now, this yeah. This is on YouTube it's, now? It's not, no, it's what? not now. It's when I edit it and then yeah, I upload it. Yeah, but when they hear it. When they hear it, it's kind of like a, this is time magic. Whoa. Yeah, Foothills is really good. Yeah. It's very different, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Revolution of 1828 is like one of the smaller, stranger Stefan Feld games, a two player, um, like a push and pull game with, with politics as the theme. The theme is 
theme stream because it's Stefan Feld, but I actually enjoyed this. We played a couple of times. It is still on this shelf. I'm not sure why. It was another shelf. I put it here. Don't know why it's still here, but I, I, I think this should be in the collection because it's A, Stefan Fell, and we don't really sell Stefan Fell games, <laughs> and B, it's fun. Yeah, it was fun. It felt really like, I don't know, abstract. Mm -hmm. It felt yeah, yeah. like chess, kind of, because mm -hmm. you're doing this move and trying not to fall behind what the yeah. other player is doing, being like one step ahead always. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fun. So Watergate is also a two-player game that's kind of push and pull that way as yes. well. Only plays um, once. It doesn't feel similar, but it, no. it's in the same genre, basically. The same size of box. Yeah. Uh, so that was fun. I want to try that again as well. Yeah, it's a really cool It's like cool multi-use cards uh, things. Yeah, it's the same kind of things. card system that is in. Uh, Twilight Struggle and uh, the Cuba Cuban missing yeah. parts of 13 days and, and 13 minutes and, and those kind of games, they are not really our kind of style of games, but no. I really enjoy this. Yeah. 1987, the Channel Tunnel, you haven't played it? I haven't played it. It's really good. It's a two player game as well. You should get to play those again soon. It's good. So we have the Clinic expansion here, mm -hmm. uh, we have played Clinic a couple of times, yes. uh, maybe soon we're ready to add, add the expansion? Yeah, if we ever get to play with people who played the game before, yes. and if we get to play the game again. Yeah. So I'm really happy that I bought the expansion with 13 modules that I will never add to the game. I don't think we ever need that in our lives. That's you, that's Kickstarter for you. Yay, FOMO! FOMO. <laughs> Next up we have Welcome to Centerville. This is one I've uh, had really different GMT games. Like GMT usually make uh, some 18xx games but mostly these big heavy war games and simulations. And then they made Welcome to Centerville which is basically a dice chucking city building game. It's really strange coming from... Have you from, played it? I haven't played it no but it's really strange coming from GMT. <laughs> uh, I've heard mixed things but I got it super cheap. That's the reason I bought it. Yeah. Inhabit the Earth. I haven't played this, have you? No, played it. I bought no, it because it's I got in it the super shrink. cheap. But it is from R&D Games and it's from Richard Brees who made the, a lot of the key series. Yeah, uh, key this, power this looks interesting. Yeah, I, Just I, the I, looks of it, it pops the I colors. I really want to play it. Next up we have Cap Cap Empire, which I also bought because it was cheap and I heard it was good. No, nothing more. Yeah. Colonialism. You can take this one. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. It has a dark theme. Very dark theme. Um, yeah. And um, heard it's good. I'm heard it's. That was a question mark because you hear things about games. <laughs> I just hear things <laughs> from, from, me, from yeah. you. So this is kind of one game that I was really intrigued about because of heavy cardboard spoke about it, and it is supposed to be a really heavy game to play. Like, not heavy in the usual term, but the heavy theme-wise. Huh. So it's made to be really uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think that if you first should make a game about this kind of theme, which, of course, is a hard question. Should you make these kind of themes mm. into board games? But I, if this game is how I think it is, and it's made kind of like to make you feel really uncomfortable being like the colonial listen power, because you are like unnamed, you're not like a, you're not England. You are like an unnamed mm. uh, colonial power. Uh, if I'm not mis, if I'm not remember, remember uh, wrong. wrong. Thank you. <laughs> um, and if they manage to do that, I think it might be an interesting experience. But I also think it's going to be exhausting to play if they made it feel really uncomfortable. Mm. Like the artwork is horrible. Oof. Like it, it's kind of cartoony, like a cartoon style, but it's made to be. To make you feel bad. Yeah. Uh, and I think like if you first should make a game like this, this is not a game you'll pick up and be like surprised it's a colonialism theme. Let's bring this to grandma. Yeah, because the, the game is called colonialism and it, it's just, it's shackles. The whole, the, the front cover is just shackles. And I just it feel makes bad. Just, yeah. I feel bad just talking about it. Like, but I, I would like to experience the game. It's probably not going to be a game I would like to play a lot, mm. but I would like to experience it for the for the experience, basically. Yeah. Last, we have Space Alert from Vladas Vatel. Uh, this is a real-time co-op game. Haven't played this? I, no, we haven't. Uh, I bought it also on a sale, but I heard it's really, really good. It's Vlada. It's so Vlada. It's a real -time I really want to try game, it. So I would like to play it. And those are the games on our shelf of shame. We have some other games. Yeah, we have some that scatter around. Th th there's play. more shame in our house <laughs> than just this. This is just like focused shame. Yeah. 
So we hope this kind of format worked. We, we, we really worked a lot to try to find a format that would work for this uh, video series. We hope this uh, made sense. It feels like we're just making a video just listing games, which is basically what we're doing. But that's yeah. kind of the, 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 the whole style of the, the, the show or the, the series. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, if please. you have any suggestions about how to make it more interesting, if this is good, if this was bad, if you want to maybe see it otherwise, please let us know in the comments. Yes. Also, if there's any games here, you'll be like, you should play this right now. Please let us know in the uh, comments. We probably won't have time, but it would be good to see it and see like, and really want to play it even more and be sad. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of this video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sonoma. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.